Hello everybody, welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And it is morning, the morning after Mondo, Awada, and Ishitaka Hashi, Ishimaru, whatever his name is, you know, had their little sauna battle. That we shall do, Monoguma. Morning, huh? I hope Owada and Ishimaru survived. Goddamn names. Worried about, worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual, and when I entered... <laughs> bah! <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? W what the... Yo. Hey, Makoto. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting... For our acting as our witness yesterday, I'm actually gonna calm down with Ishimaru's voice and just go into a blah 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 blah, blah voice. Huh? Are they friends now? Oh. They've been like this all morning. They were like, th they were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. Feels gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no, feels great more like it. Oh. This almost feels like sexual, sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right? What you just said, bro? What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your buddy is a temple, given to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit. Who gives a shit? Yeah, don't ask super stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Oh. Yeah, for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was pretty it was a pretty unfortunate experience. <laughs> Immediately free time? Nope. So what should I do today? Hmm, who could that be? Wondering who would come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Oh, it's Fukawa! What the hell is she doing here? I don't remember Togo ever coming to Nagi in his room. F Fukawa, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so, so surprised? Am I really that an annoying? <laughs> well, I already know that I'm, an I'm annoying. I came here n knowing that, so that makes it uh, okay. Actually, now I need my heater back on. It's cold. Why? Why is winter so cruel? No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a f f favor to ask. I want you to go g go somewhere with me. Go somewhere. And where is it you want to go? Well, w well the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Kick. Sorry about that, just finishing off my coffee. <laughs> did, did I say something wrong? You're not a b blabbermouth, right? This ha has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's g go to the library. Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? Yeah, Fakal, why so pushy? <laughs> quiet! Be quiet when you go in! Don't l let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying. But I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. <laughs> Hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Um, what else can I explore? This power outlet. Not the books. I said the power outlet. This cord. That belongs. An extension cord, I guess, is being used to connect the lamp to the power outlet. 
But where would you get something like this here in the school? The shelf. No, I. I can't. I want. I want. I want this. It's a desk lamp. The library is definitely pretty dark. I imagine this would come in pretty handy. Byaki is getting some use out of it. That's for sure. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Togami, Togami. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you notice me, huh? Of course, now hurry up and leave. And take her with you. Hey, um, Togami? Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men, be a woman dominated by a strong man? I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. And go take a bath, you smell. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Uh, okay. That was rude. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Byakuya, to go that far. He must be really concerned about me. Huh? He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byakuya and I would be g good together? Um, well, now... I, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how, how love works. Okay. There m might come a day when you understand. Maybe. Someday. Well, bye. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, young love. Wow. Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off into the wrong direction. Love and. <laughs> Where's your oopoopoos? Oopoopoo bear, come back. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Free time? Oh yeah, free time. Three free time events in chapter two alone, wow. There's still some time left in the day. More like six, basically. Five or six. One of them. Okay, so Celeste is probably still in the dining hall, right? Oh no. Where is she? Is that nope, that's Togo. Uh No, Celeste here. She's not behind me, is she? Nope. Oh, she's over here. Hi! Actually, we have some mana coins. Might as well. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it! Okay, so there's 13.8. 0.08% chance that it'll be a repeat of something we've already gotten. Cat dog. I got nothing left. Um. Let's see. What was that exactly? Where is it? Oh, here. Uh, you might think it has to do with pets, but it's more related to beds. It's a guide for junior high and high school students to help with their, um, physical health. That doesn't sound very... safe. <laughs> Sounds more mature. Um... I'm just gonna ignore that. 
And probably give it to Yamada. Um, because I feel like Yamada would love it. Hello, Celeste. Does this school not have a dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. What am I supposed to do as my clothes become soiled? There is nothing to be done. Normally, my pride would not permit me to allow you to be alone with me. But fine. I will allow you to entertain me for a while. Killed some time with Celeste, literally with a gun. Yeah, let's let's give her a present. Um, we've got no more coffee. Mm. I'm gonna give her the ring now. Do you understand? Do you understand the sense of gratitude I am trying to convey to you? Okay, so, so she definitely liked that. That's good. As for me, Hello, Makoto. I must say, I am quite troubled. Huh? huh? Indeed. I'd like you to teach me something. What? Actually, I want you to teach me how to play Shogi. Uh, sorry. I don't know how to play either. Honestly. I see. You really are useless, aren't you? Uh, okay. But I'm surprised you don't know how to play. Is it because there's no, like, Shogi gambling circuit? Oh. Oh, there most certainly is. What, really? Indeed. But it is all underground. It is rather shady, all things considered. I have tried my own hand at it, naturally. Wait, even though you don't know how to play? Are you okay with this? That is why I wish to learn how. I placed my pieces without even thinking. What on earth was I doing? And you still tried to win an underground shogi tournament. Tried? Oh no, I did win. You won? I didn't really understand, but apparently my final opponent was infamously powerful. She was rather odd. She was a voluptuous woman who was dressed as an exotic French maid. But how did you win? <laughs> beginner's luck, perhaps? I don't think beginner's luck works in Shogi. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah, the more I learn about Celeste, the less I understand her. Max skill points, cool. Reeling from Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. Now back to Kitty Giddy. Or not. Okay, one free time event for this one, that's fine. Ahem. The school nighttime is quickly approaching. Oh. But before all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergency! Emergency! Oh shit, sorry. Uh, I have a terrible feeling. Totally blinked out that I was supposed to be reading. Tra -la 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 -la. Um, well, I guess we're going to the gym. Kitty kitty. Oh, Kitty Kitty, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? right? I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy, to, to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except for what except what Monokuma tells me. A ward is down there, I'm not going to talk to him. No one, no one else is hiding? No? Okay. Oh wait, the gym's off this way. Nope, no it isn't. It's off this way. I know my way around, 100%. Yep, mm-hmm, totally. Yamada's here. Let's enter the gym. <clears> hmm, <throat> asking us to gather, to, to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well. Indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um... How's that funny? Can't you, can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how a housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? 
What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Hmm. Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? Well, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring. That's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come, out, come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign of who whatsoever. There's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well, Th that's just. Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be that powerful to take control of even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but. Then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's, not like it's about last mystery. night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, when all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. Hmm. Well, what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction You're site? Serious. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you did definitely made it up. M must have just been the sound of the ocean in that, that head of yours. <clears throat> Say, what? Well, what you talking about, Toko? Monokuma. I feel like that's the exact same scene. He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of co construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? Ah, ah, ah. Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret, little secret. Fine, let's, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? You don't beat around the old, around the old bush, do ya? Ready to, ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably become a, it's probably become a, because of this ho hum boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the next Blackened hasn't shown up yet, black. and I'm getting bored. Hey, so I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. M motivate Is it another set of videos or something? Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to god we won't. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Kyoko, Makoto, someone, Aoi for Asahi, oh, that's probably Sakura, um, who else is Ko, uh, uh, Turgo, Byakuya, Mondo, and Hifumi. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire, bo uh, my entire body suddenly went rigid. <laughs> what? 
How? How did you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah, wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Trust me, none of you want me to re reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know. Oh, it's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... We never kill over something like that. Well, what did you say? He's right, your plan your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kinda oh, oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still awake and Your memory is still in a way connected to the outside world? I don't get what that line said. Darp da darp. I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed, so depressed. They're not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Malakuma receded into the gym's depths. I didn't know what to ex I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um, I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is. I d don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, it's come okay, on. just a little bit. As I said, Here we go. Hey. I said I do not want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Fujisaki? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, s sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... but I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. <laughs> well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. The secret's so bad you'd kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but you hear me? each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... Yep. 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 Okay. Night time. Hmm. Night time already, huh? Okay. Let's call it. A, let's all call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I couldn't. I just couldn't shake. But we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we head back to our rooms. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over that stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... 
Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep, but what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Ooh, I think the murder has occurred. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. I mean, for example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference, can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Ah! <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. W what? What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. You know what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. What? Say what? What, 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 what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck! Something's happened to someone. Is it... was it... No, it can't be. There's no way someone would... But what if... No, what ifs are pointless. Especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Ah, ah Makoto! Uh, um, are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hagakure, Asahina, Sakura, and... Toyami. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... so, so if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your, out your own outlook, do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Literally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's an every man for himself. What good does it do me to get out of my way, to go out of my way and help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him. For serious. Did he get brain brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. <laughs> the game is afoot. Tagami and he's the game. The game. The game, this, the game, that, game, game, game. He's breaking the fourth wall, I swear. Um. Asahina? So, um. I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place that's new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for. Okay, uh, let's quickly check the map. Okay, so Sakura's in the trash room. Tagami's in the library. Where else could we go? Um... I mean, I guess the library is probably somewhere we should go. 
Um, Tagami's probably doing something in here. I should end the video soon. <sighs> Tagami. Hmm. There's nothing here of interest, don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. Okay. Screw you too. So obviously it's something to do with the second floor. Would the classrooms really be a murder place though? I mean, maybe the pool. We should probably check the pool. Someone's gonna be drowned, aren't they? Huh? The door's open, but aren't they supposed to be locked? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. I investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Tagami! I see. Judging from what he said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on! <laughs> and the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody's searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker rooms. He was muttering, as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh no. Bloodlust. Ah, uh, no, Jiro, <laughs> no! <laughs> what? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... A wild, almost prime prim primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Chapter 2, Boy's Life of Despair, Deadly Life. <sighs> I'm going to leave the episode here, um, because we've just switched to Deadly Life. So I'm gonna system save. So... I would like to thank you all very much for watching this episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the next episode, we've got our second investigation for the death of Chihiro. No, not Chihiro. I don't like Chihiro's death. Chihiro is really a really good character in my opinion. Just how so cute and innocent she is. So sad to see that they've been, like how cruelly it looks like they've been, that she's been murdered. Cause like seriously, she's tied up, like she's at, on a cross and shit, and that's just messed up, like really bad. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching this episode. I will see you all in the next episode where we we start we start investigating. I don't know if I'll be recording it now because of my throat. Um, I may go see if I can do anything about my throat and possibly record the investigation. But in any case, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.